Hello and welcome to Brian Lomax Movie Talk and I've just finished the fifth episode of Gotham from season one. Uh, this one's called Viper and it is about this drug that has hit the streets. This, this guy kind of gives this drug out for free and it gives people heightened strength but afterwards it kills them. Uh, yeah, it it was a good episode. Again, another good episode. Um, some real good Easter eggs in there. Obviously, they, they, they go on to say that this this drug uh, is is the is the first kind of run at Venom. So obviously, the the company that is behind it have perfected it afterwards, and they call it Venom. And for, for Batman fans, you know that Venom is the drug of choice from uh, one of Batman's biggest villains, Bane. Uh, so yeah, I, the, I, some good moments in this. I, I like the, the way the drug kills the, the, the people, the victims, I guess. Um, some pretty gruesome moments, but kind of comical as well. Uh, Bullock in this episode has some real great uh, funny moments some funny lines two in particular one is when he's talking with both Gordon and Essen um Cap Captain Essen I think she's a captain in this at the moment uh she's in charge of the police station anyway uh he's, he's talking to Essen and he he proposes the idea that they let the drug hit the streets because it seems to be being handed out to um all the uh, the vagrants the bums the uh the more seedier ends of town he says round up all the good people put them indoors for a couple of weeks and let this drug finish off people uh, and Essen's reaction to that is, is pretty classic as well uh, just the way she's like uh, no um, but yeah that, that was a quite funny moment but the, the, the standout one for Bullock in this episode is when uh, they've they've just caught one of the guys one of the culprits behind this whole plot behind this drug plot um, he's, this guy's taken a couple of bullets and they're basically stood over the top of him and they're, sh well, Gordon is shouting at him. He's shouting all kinds of questions, trying to get to the bottom of where the other guy is, where, where this, this, this master plan is going to take place. And uh, so he's shouting all these serious questions out and then Bullock just shout because this guy is on the floor and he's kind of giving this diatribe and he, he mentions about altruism and stuff like that. And then Bullock just shouts towards the end once 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 Gardens run out of questions. What's altruism? And it, I, I it just it, yeah I didn't see I didn't expect it. it was, I like jokes like that that are kind of they come during a scene where the dialogue is pretty thick and fast where there's a, a, a kind of an in, intense moment. Like I said in the last episode, there was a joke in that that just really felt forced. It wasn't it wasn't well timed. This one was really well timed, and also it's in it's in the performance as well uh, by um, guy who plays Bullock. Can't remember his name. My phone's just gone, but hey ho. Uh, but yeah, so some some genuinely funny moments in there. Uh, I I like the stuff that's going on with Penguin as well in this episode and Boss Maroney. It's a really good scene in which Maroney brings in Gordon and they're at this table, uh, Penguin's been beaten up because Penguin's come clean, he's come clean about who he is um, and Maroney doesn't quite believe him so he brings in Gordon to, to get him to verify the story and that scene plays out really well. I'm really liking Maroney in this, in this series so far, you know, a couple of episodes uh, he's, he's a good character, very good counterpoint to Falcone. Um, and Falcone in this as well, uh, we, we start to see uh, Fish Mooney's master plan come into fruition because she's been training this woman up, obviously. We, we, we got that in the last episode. She's training her for most of this episode and then right towards the end we see her essentially start her seduction of Falcone and you can see why all this training has been necessary and you can also see just how much Fish Mooney knows about Falcone and how she can use that against him. The main storyline with Wayne Enterprises and the involvement there with them in this whole drug thing 
uh, is also quite interesting. I like the way Bruce is doing all this detective work. You know, uh, at first in the episode, Alfred is, is kind of against that. He wants him to just get on with his life, really. He doesn't want him getting caught up in this kind of cycle of vengeance or this, this obsession um, in, in order to, to find the killer of his parents, essentially. Um, but by the end of the episode, he's helping him. So we, we come to a point at the end of the episode where it's no longer this mentor relationship, a kind of fatherly relationship between Alfred and Bruce, although that is still there, that, that hasn't gone away. But there's also a new element there, which is a team. They are now a team. Um, so when you, when you see them in their final moments in this episode, Alfred pulls out this file, starts reading it, showing Bruce that actually he's in on this, he's, he's gonna help him as best he can. You realize there that that's kind of like the first moment that they are now a team. You know, when you think about Batman, when you think about where Bruce Wayne's gonna end up and the role that Alfred plays, in, in Batman's world, you kind of see the start of it here, that they are now focused together, working together to, to solve a mystery. Really good episode, really solid. Again, I give this a four out of five. Not quite willing to go four and a half or five, because I think this, this series, um, it, it's, it's, got, it's, got, it's got a better episode in it somewhere. Um, I, I think it can do better, uh, but on the whole, yeah, very solid stuff. Um, four out of five from me, but what about you? Have you seen this episode and what did you think about it? And if you have any comments about Gotham in general, please feel free to leave them below as well. Until next time, cracking.